Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a resin top coat on these little coasters. So I've got eight of them. I've got four here and four on the bottom row. But first we need to get a resin ready. So I'm going to show you my resin first. So this is my part A. And this is my part B. So I was gifted this resin by silicones and more and it comes with this data sheet so it is a uh, 2 to 1 it has about 15 minutes of working time it takes about 4 hours to harden and cure in a day the viscosity is pretty high it's clear, it's hard and it has a heat resistance to 140 degrees so that's a lot higher than my other one uh, well this isn't a laminating, this is a an HT, so heat resistant one. Um, they give all the instructions, comes with a data sheet, what to do, what not to do. Please follow the instructions of the company. Uh, every resin is different. Um, this is what I was gifted, this is what I'm using. But please follow the safety instructions. Wear respirator, wear safety goggles, wear gloves. Please, it's for your own safety. So I'm going to put on my little mask so I will be a little bit less loud I will try and talk very loud so you can still hear me putting on some gloves so I've got a little scale I'm going to put it on it's in grams so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my part A that's my resin and I'm going to make sure it's on zero so I've got eight little coasters and I think I want to do about 60 grams of resin. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Let's pour this. So two to one, I want 60 grams, so 40 of part A. And that's 40 grams. So I clean my bottle before I close it up again. So that's part A. And I think I'm going to just add the second part right in here. So I don't waste... I've got this cute little cups. But I don't want to waste it. I'm going to just pour it in here. So I'm going to zero it out. So what I learned from the last time is that these are pretty thin and I'd rather use a spoon. So let's get 20 grams in here. There you go, that's 20 grams. So let's start stirring. stirring. I've got a timer and I'm going to start it for three minutes. So it would turn whitish or gets less clear. But that will go away once it's fully, uh, fully, fully stirred up. So when stirring, go over the bottom. All the sides because you want to mix it fully so let's keep stirring so as you can see it's nice and clear so let's start and add these or a little bit to these So I've got this um, silicone spatula and I want to 
use it to put the resin on the coasters because I can reuse it because the resin won't stick to the silicone so I made sure these were all level before I started So because it's a new resin, I'm a little bit careful to use it and a little bit faster because um, the other one has like 45 minutes, like 30 to 45 minutes of working time. So that's a long, long time to work on, on your coasters. This is only 15 minutes. So that's pretty short and I need to do eight. So I might actually use my fingers to spread it as it's just easier and faster. It will self-level. Normally I would put more space in between but as I want to show it to you, to you on camera, I'm working a little bit more difficult in sh closer quarters than I normally would. So let's torch some bubbles. I don't see any. I think this one needs a little bit more resin, but I'm still going to torch. So don't go too close, keep moving, don't want to burn the resin. It's already heating up so I'm already, I should have started the timer but I wanted to get it out of the cup because the more it's in the cup the hotter it will get, the faster it will cure. And I want to get them all done. So I'm working in front of a window, so I'm just using the glare to see if I got everything. Let's torch these. Okay, so let's check these one more time. So I'm seeing a little bit of a spot here. Let's see if I can smooth it out. Everything's getting sticky. Okay, so I think that's the best I am going to be doing. I wanted to do some sides, but it's absolutely solid. It's hot, it's solid. Should have used a wider cup. So lesson for this one. Um, it really has only like 15 minutes of working time. Um, don't leave it in the cup. Pour it. And so next time I will pour everything at the same time. And let's get these dry. Like the drops are still wet. 
but the rest is already curing. So I'm going to cover my little coasters up and hopefully they will get a really nice clear finish. I don't see any bubbles. So as long as nothing lands in it, I think we'll be fine. So even though they are in my tent, I'm still going to cover them. I've got this big can of air, compressed air, and I just blew off any dust on this little canvas and I'm going to cover it like so. The less room on top, the less chance you ha get something in your resin. So I, even though I'm going to close off this tent, I'm still going to cover my little pieces up, just in case. See you tomorrow! So here are my resin pieces, all dry. It came out beautifully. I did do a second coat on these. I just spread it with my finger. So it was really, really thin. But it came out so nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that abalone shell. It shifts to every single color. So let me get the second set. So here's the second set. Also came out absolutely gorgeous. This is my favorite. Look at all those different colored cells. This one too, it's just ring and ring and ring. Absolutely stunning. I love how this one got a little bit wonky. And this top corner, it's dark, but so many gorgeous colors. And the last one. So this is with cloudy weather, but thank you for watching and oh, here's the sun again. Look at how much that brings out the shine. Isn't that it's insane? Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.